Smoke was seen rising in northern Israel on Monday from what appears to be a rocket fired from Lebanon. Israeli forces invaded southern Lebanon at the beginning of the month and have been operating in a narrow strip along the border. Israeli airstrikes have pounded large areas of the country, targeting what Israel says are Hezbollah sites. The militant group has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel since October 8, 2023, the day after its ally Hamas launched a surprise attack into Israel, triggering the war in Gaza. Clouds of smoke were seen rising in Gaza on Monday. These clouds were visible from southern Israel. Israeli strikes on homes in northern Gaza overnight and into Sunday left at least 87 people dead or missing, the territory's health ministry said, as a large-scale operation continued against Hamas militants said to be regrouping. The ministry said another 40 people were wounded in the strikes on the town of Beit Lahia, which was among the first targets of Israel's ground invasion nearly a year ago. The Israeli military said it struck a Hamas target. The Israeli military said it used precise munitions against a Hamas target. The US is urging Israel to press for a ceasefire in Gaza following the killing of Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar last week. But neither Israel nor Hamas has shown interest in such a deal after negotiations sputtered to a halt in August. Israel ordered the entire population of the northern third of Gaza, including Gaza City, to evacuate to the south in the war's opening weeks and reiterated those instructions this month. Around 400,000 people are believed to have remained. On October 7, 2023, Hamas-led militants blew holes in Israel's security fence and stormed in, killing around 1,200 people, mostly civilians, and abducting another 250. Around 100 captives are still being held in Gaza, a third of whom are believed to be dead. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed more than 42,000 Palestinians, according to local health authorities, who don't distinguish combatants from civilians. The war has destroyed large areas of Gaza and displaced about 90% of its population of 2.3 million people.